Puzzles are kind of underrated, you know? I mean, they're like games, they're fun, but they also train your brain and make you smarter. That's a pretty good deal. And 3D printing is actually really great for designing puzzles because you're so unconstrained that you can make some really crazy things, really fun looking puzzles. I think I've only made two puzzle videos on Make Anything in the last two years, but I actually have quite a collection of puzzles a lot of them that I designed before I started my channel, so I thought I would just share them all with you today. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm Devin, and this is Make Anything. Cool. All right, so here's my collection of 3D printed puzzles. And while a lot of these are based on existing older puzzles, I did model and print them myself. So I'm gonna share them all with you, starting on this side because you may have already seen some of these in my older videos. Most recently, you may have seen these 3D printed jigsaw puzzles that I taught you guys how to make. And these are super cool because they use actual satellite data to make a puzzle based on the geography of our planet, or in this case, from the red planet of Mars. So these were really fun to make and I've got a whole video showing you all about them. So I'll just skim through that. Quite a while back, I also made a video on this Tsugite Tangle puzzle that I designed. And I really like this one because it's based on this super cool Kawaii Tsugite joint that can connect in three different orientations. It's a super fun and interesting joint and it can be kind of confusing. So I turned it into a puzzle by making it double-ended and then creating all these different puzzle cards so that you can try to recreate these shapes using the joints and it's trickier than you might think, so that's a really fun one. Up here we've got some cute little models, and these are actually just super simple little jigsaw puzzles that I designed kind of for children, people who are just learning how to grab onto stuff. So of course it's not super challenging at three pieces a puzzle, but it does look really nice, so I thought I'd share those as well. And these, as well as most of the other puzzles I'm gonna share with you, are actually from my time interning at a startup called New Matter. And they made a, a little 3D printer. They're no longer in business, so they allowed me to share all of these files, which is really awesome of them. And that includes all of these puzzles down here. And this one's particularly interesting because this is actually one of the oldest puzzles ever created. It's called Archimedes Puzzle, or the Ostamachion. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but this may be the oldest puzzle that we know. And it was created by Archimedes himself. And it's actually very difficult despite having thousands upon thousands of different solutions. That's because these aren't just random cuts, they're actually created using math so that they can fit together in all these different ways. And I printed them out in all these different colors, which I think looks really cool. It's almost like its own little piece of art. These three puzzles are sliding puzzles where you have to move things up and down, left and right, to try to achieve some kind of a goal. And these are all based on older puzzles as well from a really old puzzle book I found, but I kind of changed the concept to make them a little more interesting and exciting when 3D printed. For example, here we have Catch the Criminal. And the idea is that it would start in this position, and then you can just move the pieces up, down, left and right to try to get him inside of that cage, that doesn't quite work. You want it completely surrounded. Whoop. I'm just gonna cheat here because it's a tough puzzle, but basically that's the end goal you want. And this was really fun to do some color swaps so that I could have these jail cell bars as well as making the criminal stand out a bit. So I did some filament swaps for those. And I think it came out super cool as well. Down here we've got my ripple puzzle. So this is just the case. But inside you've got this really cool translucent blue from Matter Hackers, which makes a great water color. And the idea with this puzzle is once again to slide pieces around, but to try to get the ripple or the raindrop in the center of the ripple. So once again, I'm not gonna go ahead and try to solve it all for you right now, but there's a way to do it. My favorite of these sliding puzzles is this one, which I call Straight Escape. And it's actually the one that I've been able to solve. And the idea here is to, once again, move the parts around, but you wanna get this guy out. He's the hero. 
and then there's a perfectly shaped slot at the bottom that he slides through. So it'll start like that, and then you'll go ahead and start moving things. There's not a lot of space to move, so it's very interesting that there is in fact a solution. So those are cool, those are based on existing puzzles, but then there's also this one that I kind of invented myself. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. It's one of those packing problem puzzles where you've got a bunch of pieces and you want to fit them perfectly into their case. But this one's fun because it's two layers deep of different rectangles and it seems pretty tricky, but it is solvable and I think it's pretty interesting. You got all these rectangles that are overlapping one another. And when all the pieces are out, it doesn't look like it would fit in this little square, but sure enough, everything fits. And I also made this little case that I printed in vase mode. It's a nice little storage case. Here we've got another super classic puzzle called the Towers of Hanoi, and I just remodeled it as a pyramid instead of the standard discs or some other kind of form. And the objective of this puzzle is super simple. You just want to get the pyramid from one side of the board to the other while only moving one piece at a time. And you can't stack a piece on top of a smaller piece like that. So you kind of have to do a few moves to get everything in its right place. And this puzzle actually is simple enough, although I think I'm doing something wrong. Let's see, you go like that, like that. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm just gonna cheat again. <laughs> but this one's actually simple enough that it's not as frustrating as this puzzle, for example. So that one's super cool, but this one is actually one of my favorites. And this is an arch puzzle. It's a different kind of puzzle because not only do you have to figure out the orientation of the blocks, but you also have to figure out how to stack them and make them support themselves in this freestanding arch. So, you know, if you take out a piece, it crumbles. And how do you get it to stand up on its own with only these two hands? It's pretty tricky and it's also really fun and I think the end result model looks really cool. I'll have to build that back up. To finish things off, here we've got some puzzle cubes. And the objective with these is to basically have all these pieces, put them together to form a solid cube. This one's probably the most unique. It's got all these curved and interesting slots and you gotta slide it all together in a very particular order in order to get this final cube. That looks super cool, especially in this gold Matter Hackers filament. I really like the way that depending on how the parts were printed, they've got a kind of different shine and color to them. So like the others, I designed this thing like two years ago, but the tolerances were never quite right. So I went back and now I made this one that's way too tight that I can't get apart again. But as we speak, I'm printing a new version that should have the correct tolerances so that you can actually slide this thing together and apart again. But I really like how this one looks. It's got some really interesting curves and it's fun, but not too, too challenging. So you won't end up throwing it across the room. The rest of these are more traditional puzzle cubes, I guess. And basically they've got all kinds of little shapes, sort of like Tetris cubes that slip together to form the final shape. And you can make these with all kinds of different number of parts. So here we've got the most simple three by three cube. So basically it's based on a grid of three by three cubes all stuck together into different shapes. So this one's nice and simple. Then quite a bit more challenging, we've got this four x four cube, which not only is it difficult to find out the orientation of the parts, but to have it all hold together while you're solving it is challenging as well. But I think this kind of stand that puts it on its point is really helpful in doing that. It's really nice to just solve it while it's on this stand. And then in the back here, just as pure torture, I made a 10 by 10 cube. No, I didn't solve this one. I actually printed out a solid solution cube as an assistant for helping solve this insane puzzle that has something like 80 or 90 pieces. And then I also have this different case to hold on to them. So this is just another way to hold on to it. So there we go. It's just another way to display your completed cube. You can use this or this. 
But yeah, this one is insanely difficult. I managed to get like that far. Yeah, the 10 by 10 puzzle cube is pretty crazy. The others are kind of fun. This one verges on the territory of insanity, maybe torture. But if anyone is able to actually solve this thing, I do have a prize that I'm going to give away for the first person who can solve this. So look in the description for information on that. However, if you don't feel like ripping your hair out, there is another way that you can win a really great prize. And that's because I am super excited to announce the competition that I'm hosting with my mini factory today. And it's all about puzzles. That's right. Check out the link in the description and you can find out all about this competition. But basically, we just want to see what kind of cool, exciting new puzzles you guys can make and 3D print. So it can be anything. It could be one of these jigsaw type puzzles. It can be a cube. It can be a sliding puzzle. It could be something completely different. In fact, I think it would be really cool if it was something that no one's ever seen before. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can come up with. And I'm also really excited because one lucky winner is going to get their hands on the new Dremel 3D45 printer. And it's quite a beast. I'm excited. I hope all these puzzles serve as great inspiration. But if you still don't know where to start, good news is I have another video posted today where I'm going to show you how to make one of these puzzle cubes from scratch. So hopefully that'll help out. And in that video, I'm also going to show you more about that Dremel 3D45 printer, which is a really cool prize. So make sure to check out that video next if you didn't accidentally watch it first. I hope you'll check out that tutorial, but for this video, that's all I've got for you. Make sure to visit myminifactory.com where you can download the files for all these different puzzles for free. And you can also sign up for that competition. More info in the description. Make sure to like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Until next time, I'm Devin. This is Make Anything. Don't forget to stay inspired.